from New York is Sarah Walton. Sarah, the UN Security Council was expected to discuss Ethiopia this Friday. Uh, has this happened yet? And if not, what is likely to emerge from that meeting? So, Mahir, the, the meeting is actually due to get underway at 3 p.m. New York time, so it's still a, a couple of hours ago, away. But we're expecting the Security Council to get a briefing from uh, Martha Poby, who is the uh, Assistant Secretary General for Africa, uh, and also a briefing from a representative of the African Union. Part of this meeting will be held publicly, but then there will also be closed consultations afterwards and, and really what we're expecting at some point is a joint statement from the Security Council, likely one uh, condemning the, the escalation in fighting in uh, Ethiopia. Uh, we have heard already today from the President of the Security Council, that's uh, Ambassador uh, Juan uh, Fuentes, uh, Juan Ramon de la Fuente of Mexico, which holds the presidency of the Security Council at the moment. He says this matter is uh, of, uh, of great concern to the whole of the Security Council. He said he did expect that statement to be coming out today, but he wouldn't be drawn on exactly what the delay to that statement is. And Sarah, what role then is the UN playing in helping to de-escalate the fighting in Ethiopia? And is the international community at this time considering direct involvement in the conflict? Well, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has himself uh, telephoned the Ethiopian uh, Prime Minister uh, Abe Ahmed to suggest that the UN could help set up conditions for uh, talks to take place with uh, the opposition uh, groups uh, within uh, Ethiopia. Uh, but really the UN's main focus on the ground is um, on the humanitarian uh, side of things. The UN says no uh, aid convoys have been able to get into the Tigray region since the middle of October. No aid workers have been allowed in and out of, of the region by road for more than a week now. We know that Martin Griffiths, the uh, Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, is actually uh, beginning a trip to Ethiopia today. Uh, he's in the capital um, to have meetings with uh, the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister, which he said have been uh, constructive. We also heard uh, briefly a moment ago that um, the US has sent one of its top envoys as well to uh, have meetings with government officials in Addis Ababa with the aim of convincing them to uh, you know, enter into negotiations with representatives of the opposition groups. So, so really at the moment the focus of the international community is very much on um, encouraging all the parties involved in the fighting to, to get round a table together, to have talks, uh, to de-escalate the fighting and to protect the people of Ethiopia.